how illegal total surveillance of citizens of various countries is organized through technical means of surveillance and how individual targets are targeted. American whistleblower Sabrina Welles shooted this her video about it in the spring of 2022. I provide the link in the description. As a child, she herself, along with other children, was a human target because her parents, both military men, allowed, as she claims, experiments to be made on her. Then Sabrina Welles worked as a chief engineer or researcher at a military plant until she became a whistleblower. I will comment the scheme which Sabrina Welles showed on minute 1516. These are a lot of people, population. Let's assume that the undercover agents reported something about this person which is pointed out on the scheme to their operative, it doesn't matter what exactly, that the operative gets motivated to personally or having obtained legal or illegal sanction of the Secret Service authorities start first round the clock cover surveillance of him. The most reliable way of detecting and tracking is biological one nowadays. Every person's body and each one of its internal organs emits electromagnetic waves that form human biofield or aura. Also each tiny internal organ of a person has its own microfrequency. Of those two are the main ones, highlighted in pink. Individual desoxyribonuclear acid or DNA is found in any microparticle of the tissue of this person and emits its own electromagnetic radiation. In order to find out the individual microfrequency of a given person's DNA, the Secret Service needs to obtain a little of his any biomaterial. So the operative instructs one of his undercover agents, nurses at the relevant medical institution, for example at the Vilnius Central Polyclinic visible in the photo here in Lithuania, to obtain under some pretext a sample of this person's biological tissue, preferably blood or urine or excrement or any body secretions. Otherwise, it may be picked over by undercover agents' medics surreptitiously penetrating person's empty apartment, that is, hair, dandruff, nail trimmings in a dustbin, saliva, DNA radiation will be analyzed in them. Then we have a portable cognitive radar mounted on a vehicle sometimes. It is adjusted to the targeted individual bodies and his DNA microfrequencies. Its rays here on the drawing have to be directed not up but down. Bodies' radio frequencies meet and sync them. Due to that, a cognitive radar can strike an organism with an electromagnetic impulse. Now about the cognitive radars. Some years ago, I had an electronic exchange with the factual pioneer of fall American whistleblowers, famous Juliana McKinney. Unfortunately, she died in 2023. I rewrote three her electronic replies to me on the paper so that I could have them with me when I am out of my apartment, so that Lithuanian undercover agents could not delete them or steal them from my apartment. Excuse me for my inability to highlight the words in the text which I read. So, on May 27, 2014, Juliana McKinney replied to me, Electronic targeting is by means of portable emitters controlled by computers. My comment by the artificial intelligence nowadays. They draw their power from surrounding electrical power grids. My comment, I feel they must use autonomous generators nowadays. The frequencies employed are generally in the microwave and millimeter wave ranges, operating in the gigahertz range frequencies which penetrate walls easily. This encompasses the use of radar, radio waves and infrared frequencies. In addition to being portable, easy to install in homes or adjacent apartments, electronic emitters can be affixed to power lines alongside streets and to microwave communication towers, cell towers. These latter are remotely operated probably from centralized bunkers. Electronic emitters are often co-located with surveillance cameras which are found on the streets and inside commercial and other public buildings. 
satellites are not used for targeting purposes simply because electromagnetic frequencies have a way of fanning out at long distances from the emitter and hence cannot be properly focused. Satellites are used for passive imaging purposes. My comment, unlike active cognitive radars, effective ranges are 100 feet where portable emitters are used and up to 7 to 10 miles when the emitters are located on cell towers. Acoustical frequencies are also used. Yes, these operations can cause brain disruptions which might cause hallucinations. Electronic frequencies in the microwave and millimeter wave gigahertz range do indeed cause pain. Certain programs allow for the deciphering of subliminal speech, which might explain the perception that the freaks can see through a target's eyes. Other programs induce voices in the head. I had experience with that about 20 years ago and blocked it. On May 30, the same year, 2014, Juliana McKinney wrote, Pinhole cameras can be incredibly tiny and easily installed under plaster in book bindings in picture frames or curtains, wherever. Again, I recommend that you do your own research on the internet for technical specifications. You don't need a camera to verify that you are approaching your window in your apartment. A simple sensor could detect your approach as could radar aimed at you from a remote position. Your whereabouts on city streets are no doubt easily tracked by standard surveillance cameras installed on light posts and power lines all over the city. My advice is that you simply ignore these tactics. My comment, I shall never give up. On January 5, 2015, Juliana McKinney wrote, I don't see claims of electronic harassment from satellites as being in the least bit valid. The structure of our atmosphere would prevent systematic focused targeting. All that is required is a power source, namely the country's power grid. Electromagnetic frequencies can be highly focused. Consider police radar, for example, the same with microwaves. Imaging of targets is done by radar, mass density, acoustical frequencies, respiration, heartbeat, other vital signs, and infrared heat generated by the human body. The data acquired by these systems is converted by appropriate computer algorithms into the image of the target, which is used for targeting purposes. If you do research on active denial systems, my comment, I still don't know what that is. You will find that these computerized images are used for targeting purposes. It is the imaging which allows persons operating electronic weapons to focus on one person only, while others nearby remain unaware of what is going on. The emitters can be portable, as in the case of radar and active denial systems or they can be wired into microwave communications towers, or they can be affixed as devices to power lines and poles and to devices inside public and private buildings, such as in security camera systems. Portable systems are used in adjacent premises, apartments, houses. These frequencies can penetrate walls. Again, all that is required is power from the power grid. The effects produced can vary from microscopic itching, burns, to extremes of pain in all parts of the body. If the focus and amplitude of the frequencies is intense enough, vital organs can be damaged or destroyed. What organs more specifically? The Sabrina Welles scheme on minute 2106 of her video. A lot of medical equipment is designed on the principles of cognitive radar. It controls persons' vital signs, respiration, electrocardiogram, acid and alkaline, glucose, hearing aid, disability assistance, muscle tension monitor, that is activating weak muscles with an electromagnetic impulse, speech disability, activating same way speech center in the brain, artificial hands, assisting hand movements same way. 
where as doctors, torturers, and murderers waiting for the secret services use the analogous equipment for anonymous remote torture and slow bringing to death of healthy persons. Respiration. They periodically make it difficult to breathe. Blood circulatory system. They cause spasms of blood vessels. Sabrina Wellness demonstrates it. Acid and alkaline ratio. I don't know yet. Glucose. The same. Hearing aid. Voice to skull. Muscle tension monitor. Muscle spasms. Speech disability. Involuntary speaking. Artificial hands. Involuntary hand movements. This ways targeted individuals' health is experimentally undermined. Microwaves are emitted by the magnetron, which is in the core of any radar. Here is a radar designed in Israel. It covers a distance up to 15 kilometers. And being cognitive, it knows how to discern a specific target among plenty of others. So if you hope that you are not targeted among them, yes, but only at the moment. Through the walls, vision radars are not cognitive, nevertheless the operator knows you beforehand and discerns you visually. These are easily portable micro-impulse radars, abbreviation MIR, from big to small, intended for anti-terrorist and rescue operations. Here how you look, shown by the through-wall vision radar designed in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Artificial intelligence is used. And here, how the operator can see you in airport or anywhere. Pneumatic gun with gas. infrared weapon to stop the heart. Those responsible for all those crimes in Russia, Nikolai Patrushev, Secretary of Security Council of Russian Federation. He is immediate organizer and sponsor of massive and individual killings and assassinations in Russia. Alexander Bortnikov, Director of Federal Security Service responsible for developing and maintaining illegal system of total surveillance, also killings and electromagnetic terror. Vladimir Kolokolcev, Minister of the Interior, responsible for practical organization of total surveillance, murders and electromagnetic torture. But Russia no longer hides the fact that she became already fascist state, dangerous for Western democratic civilization. Whereas in Lithuania, similar criminals commit all of that under the flag of European Union, NATO and democracy. Darius Yaunishkis, director of state security department of the Republic of Lithuania, is responsible for a system of illegal total surveillance, harassment and electromagnetic torture. Arunas Maskolunas, head of Bureau of Lithuanian Criminal Police, 
is responsible for practical implementation of illegal total surveillance and harassment. Elegius Paulavicius, head of the Second Department of Operative Services under the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Lithuania, is responsible for all the same. In the United States, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is responsible for most advanced sophisticated electromagnetic weapon elaborated in military laboratories is used against thousands of American TIs or targeted individuals for decades. Christopher Ray, director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the main responsible person for system of illegal total surveillance and electronic harassment in the United States and also leadership of each state in the USA has ample opportunities to harass defenseless people. Let us never surrender. Thanks for watching. Share my channel.